In between show bathing, damaged coat due to lactating beaches or just out of shape, or bathing systems will change. We will first of all, as before, use the professional formula whitening shampoo, massage and rinse. I will then use the white lightening shampoo. Take a drop of pure to use on the face, feet or wherever you may have stains caused by teardrops, saliva or urine. Massage and leave on for 5 minutes. This is the time necessary for the enzymes to work and then rinse out. Use the product stabilizer as before described and rinse out. And at this point we want to give an extra protection by using a heavier conditioner formula which will give the most in results. Mix 2 tablespoons of lanolin together with 2 tablespoons of super rich conditioning in a glass of water. Shake well and add an extra litre of hot water and mix again. Lanolin is not a water soluble oil, so to take it out it must be bathed again with shampoo. Being a non soluble oil, it will help in the protection of the hair. In fact, water, teardrop, and urine stains will not be able to deposit on the hair as the lanolin will create a barrier against it. Coat will absorb the lanolin and this will strengthen it.
After having applied the lanolin and conditioner, pass water all over to grant the complete distribution of the mixture. The water will only eliminate the extra that the coat will not absorb. Dry the coat as before described. You will note that when dry, it will have an optical effect of an oily coat. It must not feel oily or leave traces of oil where he passes. If so, next bath, do use a little less of oil. If instead you note know that after a couple of days it has been absorbed, add a little extra on the next bath. If your pet does have horrible yellow stains around the eyes, feet, etc, etc. Or if you do have some troubles bathing him weekly, use the number one all systems super whitening gel. It is a natural ingredient product based on enzymes to eliminate the stains and glycerin to protect the hair. It must be applied daily and after three or four applications, washed out with shampoo and water. Even the self rinse shampoo is very comfortable for this use. I personally do not recommend to wrap up Shih Tzus as I do with Maltese or Yorkies. But if for some reason must be done, I suggest the following. First, the hair must be in lanolin. Never wrap up a dry coat. Use plastic on the body as using paper would absorb the oil and dry out the coat which may risk that the hair may be one big tangle. Take a stripe of hair from the leg, avoiding to take the hair from the body. This will leave him free movements and avoid the hair from being ripped out. Take the plastic sheet, rough it up, this will make it less slippery and easy to use. Place the coat in the middle and fold it in three. Bend the packet in four parts and then block it all with a wrapping band. It must be tight to hold it still but not too tight to cause damage. We must use paper around the face, which will absorb the water and sweat from the mouth. Paper must be changed daily. The body with plastic, if well applied, may resist for a week.
We from the number one all systems, thank you all for your kind attention and interest. Best regards and hoping success to all.